Welcome to SOS Media, your number one source of the latest news, opinions, and in-depth investigations that dig deeper into today's developing stories around the globe. R. Kelly expressed frustration during a jail call with radio personality Natasha Simona that gossip blogger and YouTuber, born Latasha Transrina Kebe but commonly referred as Tasha K to a great extent sabotaged his court case in New York. R. Kelly has publicly accused Tasha K of witness tampering and leaking his personal data to his girlfriends ahead of the New York trial who eventually turned against him. R. Kelly during that conversation went into detail about how a now-retired Bureau of Prisons officer logged into the prison communications system gaining access to his personal phone and email records, and illegally selling them to Tasha K from a Gmail account. R. Kelly expressed that his case suffered a devastating outcome because of that leak. Dot. Speaking to elaborate on how his reputation had been destroyed quite beyond repair, R. Kelly acknowledged the fact that a lot of bad things had been said about him prior to the trial. I usually don't lash back out at people because as a celebrity and as a professional person, you are never 100% perfect. I do make mistakes in life, but I am not a monster, R. Kelly emotionally said then. Tasha Kay in her response as to how she got into contact with the Bureau of Prisons officer to receive information about R. Kelly, insisted that she didn't know it was a BOP officer but rather received an email from an anonymous source, that said it had access to the phone calls and other records which she eventually sent to her. Tasha however agreed the data looked undoubtedly authentic. Though no legal proceedings have been taken against Tasha Kay and the possible accomplices in this devastating leak, R. Kelly and his legal team have it fronted as one of the key issues to expedite during the appeal process. R. Kelly believes his image was tainted and the people who did that broke the law and need to be punished for that. So we still believe that all isn't yet done for Tasha K. as far as sabotaging R. Kelly's New York trial is concerned. As we still await for what the judicial system has in waiting for Tasha K. as far as R. Kelly's allegations are concerned, this YouTuber is proving to be unstoppable so far. Mid this week, Tasha K. wrote down a rather mocking message masked as an apology to Cardi B claiming that their years-long legal battles in which Cardi B always tends to win, had exhausted Cardi's bank account and brought down off her record label. Tasha K. also took a dive at Cardi's hubby, offset separate legal battle with his label and lowly suggested Cardi has been on an endorsement spree in order to pay for studio time and her plastic surgery bills. Tasha K seems to be saying everything possible to make Cardi B look as if she is so desperate for money. To most of us, all of these attempts by Tasha K appear like dangerous territory for a woman who has already been ordered to pay Cardi $4 million for falsely talking about her. We all remember that in 2018 Cardi's debut album, Invasion of Privacy actually had all its songs go platinum and is still the highest selling album from a female rapper to drop last decade. But Tasha K asserts that the album lost money and that's the single reason Cardi B is pinning her down for the $4 million. In the latest of a series of isolated feuds between the two, Cardi B has seen herself into another commotion after she condemned Brian Sauce for being present at the Blink-182 concert, rather than mourning his stepfather billionaire Hamish Harding who was one of the passengers aboard the then-missing Titanic submersible. On learning about this development, Tasha K hurriedly dived into stating that Cardi was not any different from Brian due to how she handled the untimely passing of former spouse Takeoff, a member of the hit group Migos who was gunned down in Houston last November. Wasn't she posting guns right after Takeoff died? And on the internet cutting up not long after his sudden takeoff? Tasha K wrote. The mention of Takeoff has not gone on well and seems to have been a no-go zone for Cardi B who just lashed back at Tasha K. To bring up takeoff to prove a false point is disgusting, she wrote back. I lost weight and I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep me and my man are still dealing with that to this day. I am a rapper and we are targeted all the time so of course I have guns for protection, Cardi stressed her. As if that was not enough, Cardi further reminded Tasha K of the fact that her lawyers know that she is hiding money somewhere in Africa, and promised her she would do all the necessary to get every cent of the $4 million she is demanding from her. Earlier a court judgment ordered Tasha K to pay Cardi B $4 million in a defamation lawsuit the rapper won against the blogger, which led her to pronounce the alleged bankruptcy. Tasha K had then filed an appeal stating that the judgment was a very lopsided presentation of evidence to the jury. But the U.S. Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit rejected Kebe's appeal. 
Cardi won the case in January 2022 with a federal jury awarding her $4 million in damages. Despite this win though, Cardi B has seemingly not yet felt safe from the alleged hurtful Tasha K videos and so she filed a new court order, seeking an injunction on Tasha K's videos so they would be scrapped from the internet permanently. Plaintiff filed this action because defendants refused to stop targeting her with harmful and disgusting lies, Cardi's attorneys wrote. Damages alone are inadequate to address the constant ongoing threat of defendants repeating the defamatory statements, and the defendants have clearly said that they will continue publishing the defamatory statements unless an injunction is issued, the attorneys emphasized. Born Latasha Transrina Kebe, Tasha K filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy after failing to pay Cardi who sued her for defamatory comments she made about her and her family. The drama has not yet ended. In April Tasha K posted in a tweet that she had just paid off her $4 million Cardi debt, but it turned out she was just participating in a fool's day bonanza. This did not go on well with the online audience that she proclaimed having paid Cardi B on April Fool's Day. The ongoing feud between Cardi B and Tasha K has taken a heated turn with both women exchanging pointed words. The major fact here is that Cardi unlike R. Kelly is not incarcerated and has her rights to communicate very openly. She also enjoys the fame and financial muscle to appropriately tussle it out with Tasha K. A huge portion of the online audience believes that Tasha is currently taking the feud so personal and this might lead her in more trouble. She might not have gotten any counteroffensive when she had issues with R. Kelly but we are certain Cardi will not allow this to end just like that, she looks more than serious in obtaining her target. Equally so, as the R. Kelly trial continued to reveal disturbing details about the R&B King authorities began a federal investigation into a U.S. Bureau of Prisons officer, who they say allegedly leaked illegally accessed information about R. Kelly. The officer who was named in the warrant as Officer A was accused of illegally accessing R. Kelly's private information, while he was an inmate at Chicago's Metropolitan Correctional Center and leaking it to then 39-year-old Tasha K. She has not yet been charged with any crime and has since retired from active service. The parents of Joycelyn Savage, one of R. Kelly's then-girlfriends were forced to issue a cease and desist letter to blogger Tasha K. Joycelyn's parents, Timothy and Jonjlin Savage have for long accused Tasha K of using her platform to make a series of unwarranted and defamatory attacks against them. The Savages claim that the attacks include allegations of drug use and creating social media accounts to profit off of their daughter. In part 2 of this story, SOS Media will bring you the various reactions and analysis the online audience has as far as this Tasha K, Cardi B, R. Kelly feud is unfolding. Thank you for watching today's video brought to you by SOS Media. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our videos. Also remember to leave your comment about today's topic in the comment section below.